Hello, welcome back to this video and today we're going to see the flicking from cerrada. In this case, we're going to be uh, in this position and as usual, we can do that in a vertical plane. That means that you're going to describe an arch and it's going to be in a vertical uh, manner. In this case, I can attack the top of the head or I can attack the top and back of the head depending on how much range I have. So in this case, again, I'm going to do it to the air, one or two. As you can see, I can lift a little bit more and high and then at the same time, I can reach farther away. That means that I can attack the top and back of the head. Those are the vertical planes. One more thing that I'm going to say before we continue. In this case, every time you go from Cerrada, you really don't want to um, keep your wrist too tight until the very end. This actually can hurt you. So you're gonna do the finger gun, which is opening your thumb and open, opening your index finger like this. So that's also going to help you come back because when you come back, you can close it. And then as you can see, it's much, much easier for you to come back. So again, it's going to be one and two. One more time, one and two. Now, you can do that in a vertical plane, as I was saying, but you can also do it in a horizontal plane. You can do towards the back of the head. As you can see, I'm doing the same uh, finger run that I was doing before and bring it back. It will be this, or you can do it towards the back of the person, particularly the lower back like this and bring it back. So it's going to be this. I'm going to distance myself. It will be this. I actually like a lot to target the back of the arm because it's actually very sneaky and very difficult to perceive. And as you can see, if you manage to hit the uh, elbow, that's definitely going to be something. <laughs> so you attack the uh, back of the arm. That's also a possibility. And also, as I said on the other video, when we were doing the flicking on the other side, the targets are going to be the same. I'm going to target the back of the knee. You have to lower your uh, body a little bit in order for you to reach that place. And then you're going to hit and bring it back. So again, it will be this. The idea behind this is to, again, not only necessarily to get to that point, but to try to flick it backwards. So it's, the idea is to bring it back. So make sure that you have enough room to go around and not just touch the spot and bring it back. So it's this rather than just touch the spot and bring it back. Now, as you can see, all of those are in a horizontal plane. And again, it's horizontal plane because it goes around in the same horizontal line. But you can also incorporate angles. You can incorporate an angle going upwards like this. And in this case, you're going to target, for example, the top of the head, right? You can actually go slightly lower and attack even the uh, back of, of the lower part of the back, but mostly it's going to be dedicated towards the back of the head. As you can see, this starts low, so the other person might think that I'm attacking the knee and I'm going to change my mind as I go, and I'm going to attack the back of the head. Or you can also do an angle down. In this case, I'm going to go here thinking or making the other person think that I'm going to attack the head, but rather I'm going to attack Again, the lower part of uh, the uh, body. This is the knee. Now, same discussion as I said before. Why is this useful? Why do we use that? It's not necessarily because you're going to hurt someone so much that the person is going to stop fighting. Well, with the exception, obviously, of the top of the head or the back of the head, which that can actually definitely do that. But most of the times, every time we attack the body in this manner, it's because we want to call the attention of uh, the person towards one side. It's also because when I go like this, the person might see the stick and react accordingly, like blocking, and then it goes around and attacks the back of the head, or goes like this, same thing, and attacks the knees. As you can see, not only because I'm calling the attention to the person, um, uh, to one particular point, in this case, like for example, as I said before, blocking, and then I'm doing, meaning I'm, I'm doing something slightly different. But even if we're not taking that into account and I just hit, that is definitely going to call the attention of the person to one side. And why is that important? Because after that, you can do follow-ups that those are actually the true important ones. So for example, if I manage to hit the person on the back of the knee, what's going to happen is probably it's going to call the attention to the lower part and then you can attack the face right after. Same or similarly, if you, for example, attack the lower part of the body, in this case, you can attack the lower part of the body, the person probably is gonna twist that way after the person feels that. In this case, you wanna twist that direction because I'm attacking that because it's calling attention to that position. And then you can take advantage of that to attack, for example, the knee. You can use that as a distraction to do follow-ups. Now, 
The angles are important, the flicking uh, in the different places are important, but the most important thing is I want to emphasize one more time. When you do it from cerrada, make sure that you open your fingers so you don't hurt your wrist because this also allows you to continue the rotation farther away and that means that you can actually have more power at the very end. If you remain with the same uh, closed fist, this is probably going to be the limit and after that it's going to hurt your wrist more than anything. But just by opening your fingers, you can go farther away as you can see much, much more and that is range so you can gain to strike with more power. So as usual, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this is useful. If you like it, please like and subscribe and don't doubt in watching all the other videos that we have on Balintawak and also in Kajukembo in this channel. And again, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Ush.